Hi, and welcome to this series on geocasts, where you can walk your way through what you can do with Google Maps. In part one, we saw how you can delegate your mapping work to the Google Maps app. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and in this second part of the series, I'm going to talk about how you can go further and incorporate Google Maps functionality right into your app. So, for example, say I just want a simple map and I want the minimum of coding overhead. Well, how would I do this? There's lots of options. The first is to use the Web Static Maps API, and this is as simple as it can be. You pass the API a URL and you get a map back. Now, there's a lot of variety in the type of maps you get back, and here you can see some styled maps, some satellite images, and even some routing. And it's as simple as passing a URL like this. Often, a static map isn't enough, and you might want to embed a map on your site, but you don't want to handle writing lots of script. Well, you can use the Embed API in an iframe in this case. Here you can see an embedded map including navigation and traffic conditions, and here, as you can see, my favorite technology in Google Maps, which is an embedded street view. Now, what's more, there are no quotas for maps or other geo information presented in this way using the Embed API. OK, now let's talk addresses. These are notoriously difficult to get right when you're typing on a small device. With that in mind, there's a place autocomplete control, and this supports address autocomplete for web, Android, and iOS. It gives you an editable text field with accurate suggestions for addresses and place names upon each key press. And this is how it works in code. On iOS, you'll launch an autocomplete controller and then just capture the result. On Android, you launch an activity using the Place Autocomplete Intent Builder, and then you simply catch its result. Now, you might not always want to type an address to share your location. You might just want to point to it on a map. And with that in mind, there's the Place Picker Control. And here's the code. On iOS, you use a GMS Place Picker Control, and you get place details such as the place name from the callback. And on Android, you just start a new activity that's built from a Place Picker Intent, and just catch the data in the activity result. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Here we spoke about how you can incorporate Google Maps into your app or site with minimal coding. But many developers want deeper integration and powerful customization. You'll see that in the next episode.